Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Exploring IBM API Connect with a live demo. Uh, this is brought to you by uh, Integration Made Easy uh, from iStream. And I am Pavan Kumar Nadipalli uh, uh, from Edge Practice. And uh, with me, I have uh, Monica Tamaredi, and she'll be taking you through a hands-on demo. So coming to agenda, like uh, I'll take you through a simplified API foundation offered by IBM and uh, the create and run aspects and the de uh, dependencies in API Connect and uh, followed by a live demo on uh, uh, IBM API Connect. So coming to uh, uh, IBM API Connect as a simplified API foundation. So coming to uh, uh, the next slide, uh, the IBM API Connect as a simplified API foundation from IBM. Uh, it is an uh, integrated solution for uh, creating a runtime management and security uh, for an uh, enter enterprise grade APIs and microservices. So coming to what API Connect provides, uh, like it provides us with an automated visual and uh, coding options for creating APIs and microservices, automated discovery of uh, system of records, and it supports uh, Node.js and Java, uh, for its background uh, um, microservices and uh, uh, integrated enterprise grade clustering and uh, management uh, with uh, uh, for these uh, background Node.js and Java applications. Uh, it provides us with lifecycle and uh, governance for uh, APIs, products, and plans. It provides us with uh, the access control over APIs, API plans, and API products. And it provides us with uh, a developer portal, which is a self-service uh, for publishing APIs, and also it provides options for policy enforcement and uh, for security and control. So uh, in the previous version of API Connect, which is known as IBM API Management, like uh, we have uh, the uh, secure and manage aspects. And with this new version, version 5.0 and above, like we have create and run aspects as well. So coming to uh, uh, acquisition with uh, uh, strong loop into IBM uh, they have integrated the uh, loopback uh, functionalities into uh, this solution and uh, which gives this product with the create and run uh, facilities so uh, here we use a node.js based framework which is called as the loopback loopback functionality uh, framework uh, which we use for uh, the creating these uh, microservices and APIs. And uh, we'll be running them on uh, 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 IBM-based uh, application servers. Uh, coming to next slide, uh, we have, uh, uh, like, uh, why this create and run are important and why, why IBM brought them into picture. Like, uh, it is important uh, to build these uh, integration APIs uh, uh, in addition to the already existing and uh, system APIs, which are uh, uh, already existing in the enterprise, and uh, where these integration APIs will in, uh, can invoke those existing APIs, or you can altogether create a new web uh, microservices uh, for your uh, applications. So, um, like uh, APIs, like creating a new uh, API requires a small uh, iterative process, uh, which is required. Uh, when you are creating a new app application itself. So uh, uh, in this uh, digital economy, like APIs uh, have a very big demand. And uh, in order to uh, process a million requests per month or uh, day, we need to have a proven uh, runtime approach which, uh, uh, which can deliver on this. So uh, IBM, we have IBM uh, WebSphere application server, like Liberty version. Uh, which is uh, integrated into this, in, into this solution, which offers those reliability. So uh, this slide shows us uh, with the dependencies of uh, uh, API Connect Toolkit, uh, uh, which is limited to a uh, developer uh, laptop, uh, which are like uh, I, uh, NPM version uh, 3.0 and above, uh, Node.js version 4.0 and above, and uh, with Python 2.7 and above. So these are uh, limited to an uh, uh, API Connect uh, toolkit, which is a designer uh, for, uh, which enables the developers to develop uh, these APIs and uh, microservices. So uh, my uh, colleague, uh, uh, Monica, will take you through the hands-on demo, uh, concentrating on the create and run options. 
So uh, I, uh, I I pass on to uh, Monica. Thanks. Thank you, Pawan. I'll be presenting the API Connect demo. Before moving any further, as we told in the dependencies, make sure you have Node installed. Let's check the Node version. I got 4.4.7. Now let's check the NPM version. It's 3.10.5. And uh, make sure you have Python installed in it. And also make sure that you add the path to the environment variables. I got 2.7.12. And the command to install API Connect is npm space install iPhone G API Connect. This command lets you install API Connect globally. I'm not going to run this command today because I have already installed API Connect. Uh, I will just go ahead and uh, check my API Connect version. API C V. This, this will show you our API Connect version. Oh yeah, so it's 5.0.3.0, fix one. Mm, so I have all the dependencies installed and I have the API Connect installed in my system. Now I can go ahead and create my APIs. So the command is APIC loopback. This command lets you create a loopback application. Here you go, it asks you for a name. Just name your application. Let it be API demo. And uh, it asks you for your directory name. Let it be API demo too. And you can select empty server or hello world project here. For today, I'm going to select empty server. Uh, just give it some time. It's going to take a couple of seconds. It's creating your uh, loopback application. So your uh, loopback application is now created. Let's go into the directory. CD space. API demo. All the next steps are listed out here, so we can go ahead and explore these steps. So for now, let's just go into the directory. Yeah, we are now in the directory. Let's edit this API now. API C edit. This command lets you go into the um, API designer. This opens in a browser. There you go. This is it. This is the browser. This is the designer. So uh, this is the API that you just created, API demo. It has got three pages, the design, source, and assembly. This is the design page. It has got schema, host, base part consumes uh, which one JSON or XML and produces JSON or XML policies, security, extensions, properties, etc. etc. This is a source. You can find everything that you just saw in the designer and the source page. So whatever you do in the designer reflects in the source page and whatever you do in the source page reflects in the designer. This is the assembly. We have got two gateway policies here. One is micro gateway policy and the other is data power gateway policy. And we have uh, n number of policies inside them. And this is where you test your API. So uh, this is all about your API go back. We haven't made any changes, so don't worry, just press OK. And um, this is the product associated with your API. See, this is the API. It lets you go into the API design page. Go back to products again. And the plan. Here you can set the rate limits for your product. You can edit them manually. Uh, for also the approvals, you can uh, select the subscription approval 
or not, that's all up to you, doesn't matter. Okay, now go back to products. Let's create a data source. Name your data source. API store data source. Create it. We have a lot of data sources in memory in memory DB, DB2, Cloud and MongoDB, etc. etc. Let's select in memory DB for now. Save it and then test your connection. You got a success message. So now let's go back and create a model. Name your model. Create it. Select your data source that you just created and add some parameters. ID and then let it be name, string. And you can make it required or not. It's up to you. Save your model. So your model has been saved. Go back. So depending upon the parameters that you provided in your model, API Connect will automatically create API operations. So let's see what are the operations that it created for you. Look at this. So this is your model. It has created post, put, patch, get. All these operations you can use them on your database to fetch data, to get, to create, to put, whatever. So uh, let's go back to assembly. Start your service. Okay, now your service is up and running. Let's test our API. Select an operation. The content type is JSON. It accepts JSON. This is the schema that we created. Click on generate. It, it generates some random data. You can use it if you want or you can edit it by yourself. Click and look. There you go, the status code 200, okay. So the data that you just given, like the ID 9 and name fed, it's in your in-memory DB now. Awesome, right? So let's save it. And let's go ahead and explore it for a while. This is the explore page of your API. You have a uh, all the operations listed here that you can use on your database. Let's click on call operation and here's your status code and here's the ID. So we could go let's go back to let's go back to our API. We are done with the API here, so let's go ahead and publish our API. When you first click on publish, it will ask you for a target. Like you can use the IBM Bluemix target or you can use a different target. I'm going to use a Bluemix target for now. So you can, this is a catalog. Sandbox is the default catalog we have in here. So it's sandbox and click next. And create an application. API just go to underscore app, add it, and then save it. So our API is saved.
So as we have already created our app, uh, app details, as we have already given our app details and organization details, and catalog details, now let's go ahead and publish our product. You select a stage or publish products and then select the specific products and then select your API. You click on publish. Here you go. Your API is published, successfully published. Okay. Now let's go back to our Bluemix account. Click on our sandbox catalog. So here's our API. So this is the product that we created and this is the API that's associated with our product. Now let's go ahead and explore the developer portal for a while. Click on settings and then portal. This URL redirects you to your developer portal. Just click on it. and click on API products. Here's your API. Click on your API and subscribe your API. I have two applications here but never mind. I'm, I'll just go ahead and create an application and then subscribe to it. Before that let's see here. So this is your API and these are all the operations related to your API. So before exploring this and call operation, let's go into apps, register new application, give it a name, API underscore app, just submit it. There you go, your application has been created. And this is your client secret ID. Um, you can save it somewhere in your notepad or wherever convenient for you. Because you, you will be needing it while subscribing your API to the application. Okay, let's go back to our uh, products and click on our product. Now click on subscribe and you can see your application that you just created here. Select that application and click on subscribe. Okay, you have uh, successfully subscribed to this plan. Now let's go into this product and then here client ID select the application that you just created and copy paste the client secret key that we already saved in our notepad. And then in here you can use that random generated data or you can give your data and then click on call operation. So this is pretty much about the developer portal. If you have any other questions or any comments just post them below. We'll get back to you and thank you so much for watching this video. To learn more visit www.miraclesoft.com and you can follow us on Twitter at, um, at the rate team underscore MSS and you can watch our videos on youtube.com slash miracle 45625 and like us our FB page at facebook.com slash miracle 45625. Thank you.